Good morning. Thank you for joining us. My name is Jose Aranda. I work at Doña Ana Community College Library. And today's presentation is on resources about New Mexico. A couple of uh, housekeeping items. You do not need to have your video on or your microphone. And of course, you have the opportunity to ask questions anytime during the presentation using the chat box. My colleague Susan with me today, and she'll be manning that feature, the chat box. For your information, this presentation will be recorded for a transcript made available at a later time. So an overview of today's presentation, I'll be showing you many resources about New Mexico. And, you know, New Mexico is a very broad topic. What specifically are we talking about? The history, politics, demographics. I mean, we, the list goes on. This is by no means a presentation that covers everything or even attempts to try to cover everything. Just going along with uh, the themes that we've been presenting throughout this year, this summer, this past spring and last year, uh, we'll be highlighting library resources, of course, but also some other resources that uh, we think are of interest and could help someone who perhaps just moved to the state or is just looking for reputable sources to learn more, more about resources within the state. If you have any suggestions after the presentation, feel free to email me those, and we'll consider adding those if we haven't already in another presentation. But for this presentation, uh, these are the major aspects that I will be covering. The public library up in Albuquerque, the state library, the University of New Mexico, several websites, and New Mexico Reads. So this slide has a picture of the public library of Albuquerque and Bernalillo County. Lots of stuff located on this website. I am not going to go through it and explain. I'm just gonna highlight a couple things that I think are interesting in regards to the topic of New Mexico. The URL, the website is listed up on top under the title in blue, if you are interested. But this is their homepage. Lots of links, lots of tabs, lots of information. What I want to bring your attention to though, specifically are these subject guides. So you would find these clicking on the research tab found in the middle of their homepage, or you can just search the website in their search box. Subject guides, and I've presented on them, are websites that are associated with the homepage on specific topics. These subject guides are created by the library where they list all their relevant resources and information on that topic. So you would then click on any of these links and be taken to a website that then provides you with all the information that's associated with that topic. For example, New Mexico Cooking. If you were to click on that link, it would open a new page and then list all the books, databases, eBooks, websites, everything that the library has recommended for you, the user, to learn more about New Mexico cooking. Subject guides are just websites that organize more neatly, specifically uh, resources related to a topic. So these are some of the topics. So there's a lot here that uh, perhaps one that was interested in learning more about the state uh, would find. Local history, music, images, cooking, Check out the library subject guides on New Mexico. All these are related to the New Mexico search. They have more subject guides. This is the result of typing in New Mexico in their subject guides. So this is just an example of a subject guide that this library has. And, you know, Breaking Bad uh, was a popular and is still a popular uh, TV series filmed and centered around New Mexico. So this is their page that offers the user information about the series, and they even have links to accessing the individual DVDs that a user can check out and borrow uh, using the catalog and some other relevant information, right? Links to other sources in the internet and books in their library that relate to the series. In general, this is what a subject guide is. It's compiling all the resources that the library provides or recommends on the topic. This is the subject guide on their special collections. They have an extensive special collections. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into this. This is their subject guide page and some information. You can see on the left-hand side the tabs that then 
break out into further searches and, and subject guides. Uh, the Special Collections Library is, is actually inside the library's history and New Mexico history and culture research collection. So it's a physical collection, but they may also have uh, links to electronic sources as well. I don't claim to be an expert on this page. I would refer you to them for any information related to this. I am simply just telling you about that they have a subject guide on, on special collections. And within that special collections, it has many, many sources on New Mexico, right? History, of course, being one, but they have other sections there that they list in that little introduction there. And they also have another subject guide, which I thought was pretty neat. It's called NMpedia. It's a play on from Wikipedia, which most of us probably are familiar with. It's a website, free resource, encyclopedia, found online that has article and background information and links to anything under the sun, right? And it's constantly being updated and people contribute to, to it on a daily basis. So they have their own wiki on New Mexico. They call it New Mexicopedia. And you see the tabs there on the left where you could uh, narrow down the searches, but it's designed to help you find information about New Mexico. It says New Mexico's rich history and culture. So click on the tabs to the left to dive in and search through this neat source that they have provided for you. We also have a state library, and I've uh, talked about this several times in, in many of our presentations. It is the state library. They are a very credible resource for all the libraries in the state. Their website is one that we recommend you use and find out what they have available for all your research needs, but specifically for New Mexico. As you can tell from the picture of this slide of their homepage, they have, again, lots of links, tabs, scroll down buttons and menus. I have spoken about this website and a couple of their resources in the past, particularly El Portal and BrainFuse and Learning Express. And today I will end the presentation with one other. But nonetheless, I wanted to highlight this source again, New Mexico State Library. And within it, they have a Southwest collection. Uh, there is the URL, and that is a list of the types of resources it has. Census, records, sandborn maps, fiction, culture, directories. So it all depends what it is you're searching for, but this is definitely a collection worth mentioning. And they are available in both in person, in print, and possibly even in electronic as well. A cool source. So the third source is now the University of New Mexico. If you uh, did not know, it is uh, one of the major universities of the state located in Albuquerque. Um, it has a medical school, a law school, and more things. I will show you some of the departments and their websites that I think are very relevant for a search of New Mexico. And the first one being the Native American Studies homepage. They have a Native American Studies program where our students can learn and earn degrees in this field. I'm sure one who's interested in researching more about Native Americans would find a plethora of additional information and resources and experts in this field from this department's homepage. They have a Museum of Anthropology, the Maxwell Museum of Anthropology. There is the URL up on top. You can visit their homepage online and possibly start the research virtually through the computer, uh, but I'm sure they have more resources in person, in their collections. This is with the focus of anthropology, but still an important subfield for searching of New Mexico. They also have another type of museum, the Southwestern Biology. This is more focused towards the animals that, that are native to this region. The museum is a research and teaching facility in the Department of Biology. It has that type of focus, and it's open for the general public. And they have lots more information and links there at this website. The last one is the Center for the Southwest Research and Special Collections. This is a division of the library, and they have several libraries. They don't have just one. I mentioned the medical school and the law school. I'm sure they have their own libraries, and then they have a general library. They have a lot of libraries. So this is a division or a section of their library system that specializes in the research of the Southwest. I've spoken about this website before in, in a previous presentation. 
They have unique resources here. I will not go into them. You could, if you're interested, contact us and we can refer you to the presentation where I did go a little bit further into this resource. Just know that this is a very credible and reputable source. They have specialists and experts working in this division of the library that collect and analyze and do all sorts of neat things uh, related to the Southwest. Those were several websites of uh, the University of New Mexico. I'm now going to go into a series of websites that uh, we've collected and think are relevant and useful for someone doing research on New Mexico. Now, it's not an extensive list by no means. If you're familiar with searching online, you can get thousands, if not millions of results on practically whatever you're searching on, and New Mexico is no different. These are just some of the websites we think may be useful. So this one's Share New Mexico. And it says it manages the largest, uh, most up-to-date and comprehensive resource directory. If you're looking for information, trying to locate contacts with assistance on health resources, for example, social services, initiatives, the counties, who the county officials are, anything that deals with organizations or nonprofits working to improve the quality of life in New Mexico, as this website states, this is the place to search. Lots of information here for that type of search. And they have four big tabs there, as you can see on top, that break down more specifically uh, the information they provide. Again, I'm not an expert of this website. I am merely introducing you to it with the hopes that if this does seem something that you're interested in, to use it. ShareNM.org. Following that theme is another one called I Need Assistance. So this one's a government website offered through the state of New Mexico. It, it provides information for those that need help. It is not just economic or financial, although it is a big part of it. It also is providing you information on the economy, finding employment, help with education and children finding agencies that may be more specific to your need, anything that has to do with the state services. This website was created for that. Thus the title, I Need Assistance. You've probably seen commercials and billboards about this next website, New Mexico True. It is a website that promotes the tourism of New Mexico. Lots of wonderful pictures. We just had the Spade Sport America flight of Virgin Galactic a couple weeks ago. They were prominently displayed. And if you've driven around the state, I'm sure you've seen billboards. And if you watch TV, you've seen commercial. A website worth checking out, although it is focused on uh, tourism, it is still probably cross-referencing lots of credible other resources that would help in a search of New Mexico. So sometimes searching should be fun. And this is a resource that I think follows exactly that. Fun fun website to search. This next one is New Mexico Kids, of course, uh, geared towards helping the little ones. A list of resources there on the right-hand side for parents and families up there and caregivers or educators. Lots of information here for the kiddos. Resources for them and the providers. And this one's more for the older kids, maybe young adults, teenagers, uh, or adults, anyone going to college or any kind of higher educational institution. This is the New Mexico's Higher Education Department's website. Specifically, this is a picture of their students and parents tab. It's not their homepage. This is geared towards the students and parents. If you can see on the picture there, the, the first tab of students and parents is in white. That's, that's what we're looking at. But they have those other tabs following financial aid, schools, data, reports, et cetera. So this specific website is on students and parents for those that have students involved or attending higher education, college, universities, community colleges, any of them. And the last resource that I will talk about today, this is called New Mexico Reads. It is a portal that assists those that are looking for books and eBooks on, on anything, actually, New Mexico. Uh, it is offered by the State Library. It is an ebook collection that primarily includes uh, Southwest history and culture titles and fiction by New Mexico authors and or set in the Southwest. And there are some other collections. I'm sure there's other titles there, uh, but that's the main focus of the collection. You access it through the state's elportalnm.org website. 
I've given a presentation about El Portal before. You can find that recording on our uh, homepage, the library's homepage, which I will show you at the end. I've mentioned it many, many, many times because it is an awesome website that just has lots of useful information. Once you are there on El Portal, look for the New Mexico Reads link. So you should see at the bottom of the page what's circled in red. That is the New Mexico Reads. You click on that and it takes you to its portal. I would recommend creating a login because you can customize your searches and it'll save items that you find and like normally that you would use in any other catalog or resource uh, that you frequent. But this is just an example of what it looks like. It has the picture of the book covers there. It all depends on what you're searching for. This is the home page. Once you do create an account, then you would have access to a more personalized search and the ability to retrieve and save your searches. The red arrow there is telling me that I've now logged in successfully and, and I'm good to go. Anything that I search and save, want to read on a list, save on a list and do it, all kinds of things, uh, I will be able to do so as long as I do it while I'm logging in. Uh, I can help you create an account separately. If you contact us individually, it, it was not difficult. And once you do that, you have customized searches within New Mexico Reads. So I did a search here of New Mexico, even though the collection is already focused with New Mexico, but just to give you an example of, of some more specific titles and what you can find. So a great resource. I just learned about this not too long ago. So again, I'm not an expert of it, uh, but uh, I think it's definitely a resource one should consider for New Mexico. And here's just a couple of captions that I took that will give you an idea of what kind of formats and filters you could use within New Mexico Reads, the collections and titles. You could even narrow it down to age level and of course dates. And then you have the option of searching the typical library database filters of subjects. And then you can select books to check out and hold and put it on a list and, and view your history, all kinds of things. Once you create that account, just a couple of uh, insights into what this New Mexico Reads offers. This last picture should look familiar if you've been viewing any of our presentations. This is the library's homepage. Many of the resources that we talk about come out of this homepage, including all the recordings for the presentations. This presentation, when it's ready, will be saved under the research guides tab and specifically under the online library presentations. In summary, I've covered the Albuquerque and Bernalillo County Public Library, the New Mexico State Library, the University of New Mexico, several websites, and New Mexico Reads. I hope you've learned something and share it. Feel free to share it. All these resources, for the most part, are free. Register and attend our next presentation, which will be in a couple of weeks. Wednesday at 1 p.m. we'll have a presentation on Career Online High School. Email us at library at dacc.nmsu.edu to register. Thank you for supporting DACC Library. Until next time.